Hi, I'm Dr. John McCall. I'd like to go over some of the functionality of uh, our new scope, Stealth Vision. This is the finest scope that you're going to be able to get. We have the best glass in it, the best optics. This, is a, uh, this particular model is a 5 by 30 by 56. And the first thing you're going to want to do is adjust the eyepiece. Screw it all the way in, look up at the sky, slowly unscrew it until it comes into crisp focus. On this particular one, I have numbers on there for minutes of angle. Look at the number, get the numbers crystal clear, you've got it. Then, whatever distance you're looking at, the internal knob on the left side is, is your focusing knob. If your eyepiece is focused and this is in focus, you have eliminated parallax, which is one of the biggest uh, causes of missing on precision shooting. That's the first thing you want to do. Then we have got some functions on this. The button on the very top is a function button. If you hold it down for one second, 1001, it changes the function. The first function is going to be your crosshairs are black and you have a green light at the bottom. That is the patented anti-cant lighting. So if you tilt it too far one way or too far the other, the light will go out. That keeps you within the kill zone out to a thousand yards as long as that light's on. Obviously you want the bubble straight, but that is a reinforcement if you can it too far. On that same setting where the crosshairs are black, the function button towards you increases the illumination of the green bubble and the side away from you decreases it and there's three levels. So set depending on the lighting outside, uh, you set that to where it's most comfortable for you. Hold it down again, 1001, release it. You still have the green light, but now you have the crosshairs have turned red. So that's for low light conditions. You still have the crosshairs, maybe 30, 45 minutes before dark. That really, really reinforces what you've got. Hold it down again, 1001, let it go. The green light goes off. Now you have only the red crosshairs. The third function, is red only, no green light. In this function, you can control the illumination of the red crosshairs. You have a very slight red, which is what I would recommend all the time, and then you have a bright red. Being an eye doctor, let me tell you why you would use the bright red. Uh, patients that have macular degeneration uh, begin to lose lower wavelength of light first. The eye can only discern light out to about 700 nanometers, and red is 630 to 660. In other words, it's a very long wavelength of light. So if you have trouble, if you have trouble with your eyes, and you have trouble seeing that, try the red, try it on bright, that may help you. Now, if you just push down very quickly, that's an on and off. If you push it down again very quickly, it will come back on to the same function you had. One other thing that we added to this scope is if you lay your scope down and it doesn't move, whether you lean it up against a tree, whatever you're doing, if it's totally immobile for three minutes, then the battery automatically goes into a dormant mode. It goes off, so you're not wasting your battery. All you have to do is grab it to pick it up and it immediately comes back on to the last function you had. That uh, maintains a battery. Uh, makes it, makes it uh, last a whole lot longer. Now, our, our, our turret is in a quarter minute of angle. Uh, that's, that's as tight as you can get it, and it works really, really good, very meaty. We have a zero stop inside. We have another video that'll show you how to do the zero stop. So you can do it one of two ways. You can, you can sight your rifle in at 200 yards. Then you turn around, put this on zero, run you out a chart, and it'll tell you how many minutes of angle you dial in. For example, on my, on, on, on my scope, I dial in 16 minutes of angle, I'm dead on at 800 yards. You have a chart to tell you that. Once you have established the bullet and the load that is perfect for your rifle and you love it, you're never gonna change it again, you talk to some of our consultants and we'll tell you what data to send us and we will burn you a turret that will be custom. Zero will now be 200 yards, 300, 400, 500, double rotation, you can take it depending on your rifle, depending on the speed of the bullet, 1,000, 1,500, some, some will even go to a mile. So we can custom that, uh, uh, do that for you. Then the last, the last one right here is if you unscrew this right here, the, on the left side, that is where your battery is. You replace your battery. 
even though these batteries last a long time because of the cutoff feature, I always recommend have a battery in your pocket when you're on a long hunting trip. Now this is your focus right here. It goes from five to 30. So remember every time you, if you change your focus and change your distance, which you usually are, you have to readjust your focus over here. That keeps the parallax out of it and that makes sure the crosshairs don't move when you're looking through it. That's very simple. It's really just one, two, three, and you have got a scope that's easy to adjust, easy to shoot, very accurate. I'd also encourage you to look through the box of all the information we've sent. We'll have other videos, we'll have other literature. If you watch the videos, read the literature, you'll be surprised how much information you'll have and how you can apply that to a hunting situation and it'll really help you out in the field.